Hi, my name is Mark. I'm a lecturer from South Thames College, and today I'm going to give you some information and helpful tips in bricklaying. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to lay bricks and the principles involved whilst you're laying them, what you need to take into consideration as you're rolling your mortar and laying your bricks. So I have my mortar on my spot board. You need to roll your mortar because it makes it easier to spread on your wall. Once your mortar is on the wall, you need to key your bed joint, which is using the tip of the trowel. And you're basically pushing down, not too deep, into your mortar. So you're spreading it so it covers the bricks you're, you've placed your mortar on. And then you use the inside of the blade to scrape forward to catch any mortar that is hanging off the wall. And you do the same on the back. And now we're ready to lay our first brick. So as I'm laying the brick, I'm scraping the mortar forward so the mortar doesn't fall onto the floor. And then I butter my brick for my next, for my perp joint, which is the joint that goes in between the two bricks. As I'm laying these two bricks, I'm looking at these two bits here to see that they're pretty much level with each other. So when I place my level over the top, it makes it easier to level and then they're pretty much level and they won't need much adjusting. Once I've laid the amount of bricks I'm laying, I will then need to use my spirit level to make sure they're level. Once my bricks are level, the next thing I need to check is plumb. Plumb is looking at the top, the, the round bubble on the spirit level and I adjust the bricks accordingly to make sure that it is plumb. This is to ensure that your brick wall is being built vertical. Once my reveal is plumb and going upright, um, I need to check that the face side is plumb. The face side is where your materials are and it's the best part, the best side of the wall. If the bricks aren't perfectly plumb, then I use the trowel to adjust the bricks accordingly so the bubble is in the middle and my wall is plumb. So I check the two ends for plumb and then I use the straight edge of the level to make sure that the rest of the bricks in the middle are in line with each other. So I'm checking the two points that I've plumbed. And again using the trowel to adjust any, any bricks that are out of line. Once I've checked this I just need to make sure that my bricks are gauge. Gauge means to regulate the bed joints. Um, so if I'm building a corner this end of the wall and I'm building a corner the other end of the wall, if they're both going up at the same height, when you run in with a string line at the end of the build, then the wall will be level. So I need to make sure that this is to the mark, which it is. Now my wall, my corner I've just built is plumb level and gauge. I can then continue my build up to my corner, racking back uh, until I need to build the other corner the other end. As you could see during this video, I used uh, half bricks on the end. This is to break the bond, and this bond is called stretcher bond. And as you see, as I've built the corner, I'm racking back every time until I run out of space, and then I can uh, build into the other corner. And that's how you lay bricks.